Welcome back to the channel, guys. Another awesome day at Ryan Free Motor Cars. Sky is beautiful. Today, we wanna to take you through one of our normal weekly, daily, monthly, whatever adventures we do. In New York, being that it's hard to have everything under one location, we have three locations in New York. The main location in Glen Cove, we got West Hempstead where our warehouse is, and we got the Hamptons where we keep stuff in the summertime. And part of the fun, what's the better than having a job to just go drive these sports cars all day long going back and forth to the Hamptons in New York? It does not get better. Louie will complain though about it, so he'll find something wrong with it. But today, what we're doing is we're actually at Universal Auto Sports, is our go-to shop for Ferrari fixing and Lamborghini, any Italian stuff. We deal with all the Germans. We do not speak Italian. We love the Ferraris, like this Tessarossa. We just sold a customer here. Low miles, in for a full engine out major service. Universal Auto Sports are the guys to do it. But we stopped here on the way at wanting to take out three cars and one of the cars that we had serviced was over here. We'll show you and then we'll take you through a walkthrough on their location, it's pretty awesome. Just so happens to be to see this, oh no, trouble. Riviera Blue 993, leather to sample, paint to sample, 3.8 RS motor, awesome, awesome car. Just want to get it out and see what it does with the drop top with a 3.8 motor. And this car that we're picking up right now from Universal Autosports, Verde Ithaca, a green, the most popular color in the Lamborghini. If not paint a sample, probably the most desired and definitely has an added value because of that color. Not a gated car, but you don't ever see these cars in this color. Like look at these two colors together. They look unbelievable. The main thing is with this, we just wanted to have it looked over all our cars, whether they're Porsche, Ferrari, Mercedes, BMW, they go through a vigorous process from top to bottom to make sure they're tip top shape for the next person to take care of them. And here we go, we're gonna enter the beast. There's some crazy stuff in here. Like, look for example, look at this. I don't even know what he's doing over here, but I know he's doing something crazy, right? Yeah. So what are you doing over here? You, you... I'm just fixing some dings on the door. On the door. They do everything. They could take a Ferrari apart. You wouldn't even know. It's the craziest thing. You walk in here, it's a, just be, beware. No one really comes in this place. It's freaking unbelievable. I mean, you got a yellow FXX hiding up there. I mean, it's freaking nuts, $5 million car. This is our red Huntan 355 with 9,000 miles. We had to come here to just have a quick look over on it to make sure it's good for the next customer. Very, very, very original car, super clean. And this is part of the fun, to come through places like this that is all about cars. You can wear shorts, you wear a hat backwards, you're going out in a nice run. We are very lucky to do what we do and um, be good at it. Um, the, the calls don't stop, it's never gonna end. But just wanted to say one thing is, is that I only started this business six years ago. So what I want to express to everybody watching this is follow your dreams, follow your passion, do something you love, and you'll be amazing at it. Everybody's talented at something. I'm not trying to be a preacher or anything, but all I want to say mainly is, is that I'm telling you, I stuck my nose out to try to do something different, and it's worked. You could do it too. I am blessed to be able to walk around like this with all these cars and do this and call it work. So continue, I'll show you some more cool stuff. Yellow FXX, check that out. Holy moly, this is a Zonda, way above our pay grade. Full blue carbon fiber. I mean, I don't even, I can barely even spell the name of the car. Go back over here. So we got some 355 getting some service work on it. Master technician over here. What's going on, my friend? How are you? Good, good, good. Look, there's Pete over there. There's the owner. He's always on the phone. He's always busy. I don't know who he's talking to. He's always doing something. You can have, barely get his attention. Look over here. You got an old 330. This thing is freaking awesome. Two by two, two plus two, excuse me. I don't know what color this is called, but I mean, it's like a kid in a candy store here, this car. Universal Autosports, how can I help you? Yeah, the motor service, it's 20,000 on the Ferrari. I don't care if you had a Porsche before, there was $2,000. $30,000 for a Ferrari service. 
This is what Pete's gotta deal with all day long. It basically is telling every person and customer that a Ferrari is three times the price to service than a Porsche. And another cool aspect of this place that you don't really know about is that they are the ones that handle a lot of the manual conversions. He's doing our Stradale, he did my cousin Barrett's Stradale, and I'm gonna let you know about something really sick right now that nobody's ever seen. It's probably the only one in the world, so this is a great day that you're gonna see this. Check out this 458 Speciale. Nice, cool, but come over here and really check it out. Something a little bit different about this one. Remember, 458 Speciale. Look at this. Manual transmission, gated, manual swap. Is this the most sickest thing in the world? I gotta take a seat in this car. Look at these pedals. Look at the pedal structure down here. I could not imagine. Oh, such a short little throw. This is trouble. Coming places like this. I just spent a million dollars on cars this week and, and I, I feel like I'm broke because I want this car and I can't afford it right now. I don't even know what it would cost to do this. I gotta ask Pete, but this is, I'm like I'm in awe right now. Sitting in this car, because you're so used to sitting in it with the paddles and driving it. I mean, this has to be custom. I'll ask Pete the center stack, but Oh my God, this car is, this car's gotta be unbelievable. Come inside, actually, what we did is we actually brought all our factory parts that's gonna be swapped on the Stradale, our gray Stradale, our titanium Stradale, excuse me. Right now, Pete's going through the box to make sure we don't have any missing parts, which I'm sure we do. Finding these parts are unbelievable. What am I missing? So when can I bring the Stradale over? I wanna get this done. I wanna fucking, I wanna race Barrett and like, you know, tell him I got all this extra stuff onto it. So you have everything for the most part that I don't need to get anything else that's crazy. So I have everything, I didn't fuck up. What the hell is going on here? Look at this Defender with some crazy supercharger on it. I have no freaking clue what this is, but this is awesome. I love going to places like this. Ryan Free Motor Cars, the first location that we ever operated out of. By the way, hold on, I just can't. I just drove this out here. Incredible. I know I say that a lot, but like, once you get up on it, I was like a little like wondering, wondering like where are you gonna feel the power, the 3.8 versus the 300 horsepower? Cause I'm so used to driving a normal cab, but wow. When you're in the upper RPMs, it really pulls. I mean, you feel the four wheel drive, it'd be more interesting with two, but like in the color combo with the power, this car is freaking unbelievable. So glad to have it out here. This is gonna stay in our collection for a while. Can't tell you about this space. Literally, this is where it all started. A garage back here, which I'll show you. We call it the barn. And uh, it just started with a few five, $10,000 cars that I literally would put on the side of the road in the Hamptons. I would put them like at the Carvel or Safe Light or another place and then leave them there and then I would literally run back home in order to get back here. I had no, no help, no nothing, and this is where we kept the cars. So now what we do is just for excess storage, because like I said, you can't keep everything in one place. And we also do a lot of marketing. There's an event in September called The Bridge, which is a great event in the Hamptons, the Hamptons Classic, which is a great event, and then also the Hamptons Concours, which is awesome, hosted by Bradford Rand. And uh, we leave all these cars out here because why not? There's different car shows, car events, take them, show them, market our business. You know, and one thing I'll say also is the way we built our business, or at least I built the business to be from the outside in, meaning on a national level all the way to local. We never really focused local, but now as we've grown, we're gonna focus on some local stuff, which is in New York and trying to build the clientele, which is awesome. So I can't tell you how humbled I am to show you this space. You've never been here before, but literally this is where it all started. I'll show you over here as well. This was our first backdrop where we put the cars against. If you look in the beginning phases, you see this wall right here. This is where the cars would line up. And it was just a hobby to be able to say now that we have you know, almost 15 people working for myself in the company, three locations, over 100 vehicles in inventory. Unbelievable. I, it, I touch myself, it's not even real. So just wanted to show you great, great, great time today. This is a day in the life at Ryan Free Motor Cars. We're not your normal office workers sitting at a desk, we're punching on a computer. It's just out and about, moving and grooving, cool cars, cool people, 
run into shops like Universal Auto Sports, take a ride out here, go grab lunch. I, the only thing that's bad, Louie didn't come for the day. Louie Louis didn't feel well, so he's, he's getting his rest and his beauty rest, and he'll be out on the next one. So just wanted to thank you for your time coming for the ride and enjoying every aspect of the day in the life of Ryan Free Motorcars. See us next time. Thanks for tuning in. Have a good day.